Are you tired of user interfaces looking static and lifeless? Do you find yourself struggling to create dynamic and engaging menus and gameplay interfaces? Well, fear not, because Epic Games just released a game-changing solution, the UI Material Lab. The UI Material Lab is a free, comprehensive library of material examples specifically designed to help you set up animated user interfaces using materials. This incredible resource offers a wide range of ready-to-use materials that will breathe life into your UI elements and make them visually captivating. Let me show you guys how easy it is to use the UI Material Lab. With the UI Material Lab, you can choose from a wide variety of material examples, ranging from subtle animations to more complex effects. Whether you want smooth transitions, interactive buttons, or eye-catching particle effects, this library has got you covered. We can completely transform a boring static menu widget into something truly engaging using some of the materials from the UI Material Lab. By simply applying the appropriate materials, we can achieve stunning visual effects that will captivate your players and enhance their overall gaming experience. Now before we get any further, I really quickly want to tell you about my multiplayer survival game course. Learn how to create a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. There's currently over 40 hours of course content. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree, rock, or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you'll get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. Now, before we jump into the example project, if you guys want to download the free example project, all you have to do is head over to the Unreal Engine Marketplace, search for UI, and then filter this by free. And then of course, right here is the UI Material Lab click on it, and then just click Create Project. All right, so here we are inside the project. So all you have to do is click Play and full screen it, and it shows you all the different examples here. And I'm gonna start over here on the right, over on the applications, just to show you what you can create with all of the examples that they give in here. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of cool little UI elements. And honestly, for me, I've always had trouble creating menus or user interface that isn't just completely static. For example, just a simple button with the image that doesn't really animate. As you can see here, so we have a stylized menu. In the background, we have this slow panning texture. And then once you hover over these menu elements, they change color and they are animated. Then over here on the right, we have a sci-fi game menu. So you can see it has sort of this animated effect. And as we go through all the different examples, you'll see how they have created this through the use of all of the different effects. So yeah, we have the settings, quit, new game. So this is kind of a cool menu. We have some minimal buttons. Maybe you'll use this for like a mobile game or something like that. We have some progress bars. So rather than having you know, a solid progress bar, you can have different custom types, some stat indicators, you have like food, water, mana, health. We have a text block panel. And then over here, this is pretty cool. It's like objective fill. So you'd have this in, I don't know, Battlefield or something like that. And then this one is pretty neat. It's LCD dot matrix panel. So yeah, this is all using materials and we can dive into the material here in a second. Now this one has to be my favorite because you can see as you hover over these items, this is what you'd have like in an MMO or RPG sort of game. You can click on it. You can see we have sort of this cool selected effect. So I can select any of these items. You can see that the icon itself zooms in. Now to break it down, we can start over with the transformations and essentially they have all the building blocks that you need to learn how to make good animated user interface. So you have things like transformations. So we have translate horizontally, vertically, and then, you know, combination of both. We have things like scaling an image back and forth, rotating an image, flipping the image, 
and symmetry. So just the very basics of moving the image. And these are all materials. So we'll open these in a second. Then we have gradients over here. You have linear gradients, probably use this for like a cool down effect, as you can see, an angle gradient. So this is sort of what they use for the capture objective point. So you can see it's like a progress bar that goes all the way around. We have a radial gradient, square gradient, really all the icons and menus that we saw in the applications. All it is is a combination of a couple of these elements. So once you start to break it down, it'll be a lot easier to customize and create your own UI elements. So next up we have time, we have linear time, uh, sine curves, cubic curves, quintic curves. So I'd use this to, I guess, animate the widget and determine the speed of which it animates. So if you want a nice linear speed, or if you wanted to start out slow and then slowly increase, you can use any of the following functions. Time effects, this is kind of cool. It's like a little hypnotizing effect and distortion. SDFs, sign distance fields. So this is kind of a cool effect. I'm not really sure what you'd use this for. Maybe as like a waypoint on a map to just show the player that they need to head over to this location or something like that. The morphing. So I believe that's what they use on that little LCD panel. Wave modulation. Kind of looks like, you know, a sound effect or something like that. Boolean operators. Union extract. Intersect, intersect smooth. That's kind of a cool effect. It's like water droplets being added to a jar or something like that. And you can see the box slowly filling up. You also have things like glow, shadow, uh, outline stroke, round corners. Those are all very useful effects. I use that all the time in Photoshop. Masks, so this is where we get some cool animated transitions. We have blind mask, blind mask two. I think this is what they use for the skill icons to highlight around the edges. We have things like sectors, checkered pattern, and this one over here, you could use this for like claiming something. I created something like this when you you know, demolish a structure, you just hold out X and the little progress circle will appear. Patterns, we have things like uh, tiling, so you can tile your own image. Hexagon pattern, that's a pretty cool animated texture. So the half tones, I'll have to check this one out because I'm wondering how they have that set up. Now for distortions, we have things like slant, skew. This is a pretty cool effect. It looks sort of like 3D, even though it's just an animated, you know, material image. Wave warp, wave warp. I'm not really sure what you use that one. Polar coordinates. This one's actually really cool. It looks sort of like a radar effect. And then you have sort of this grid map. Utilities. We have some random noise. This one kind of looks like a pixelated effect. I'm not really sure what is going on over here, though, with all the little dots. Pixelate. Oh, so this one's the actual pixelate one. You can use it on images. So that one turning all pixelated. Pixelate the text. And then of course we have all the applications. So all the different menus and widgets that you can play around with. So if I go ahead and exit out of here, I can show you guys all the project files. So in the UI material lab, if you head over to the materials, they have it all sorted out. So I can go to, you know, patterns or something like that. Hexagon tiling open that material up and we can see this is the material instance. So if we open up the main material, M UI hexagon tiling, basically the way that they have all of this set up is they have the different examples. These are just reroute nodes. So this is example one over here with the little heart icon. And then down here, they have it all commented. So we have the hexagon pattern right here. So you can break it down into, you know, we have a rotator They're using the sign time function to give it some animated movement. We have the actual images that they're using, like the hexagon tiling, and we could select example two. So this is example two. We have this little switch. Uncheck that. We can change it to the hexagon tiling. So you can see how it's animated. And over here, we can check out some of the other patterns. We can go all the way to transformations and just look at the very simple translate back and forth. So again, the way that they have this set up is they have all the different examples on these little switches. So just look for the horizontal movement. So it's just right over here. So these little colored nodes, these are reroute nodes. So just imagine this is plugged in over here. So all they're using is this linear time material function. It has this ping pong. Basically, it goes back and forth. They determine, you know, what values or how far back and forth it should travel. And they use that for the actual movement 
of the image. And so in this case, they're just using you know a blank white color. Obviously, you could put your own image there if you wanted to. For example, texture sample, and maybe I'll set it to that cat icon. Plug that in for the final color. And right now, it's just masking the image. So I think we can plug this into the UV itself. And then look, it moves around with the translate. So yeah, you guys can play around with a lot of these materials. Honestly, a lot of this stuff is very useful, even if you're not going to be using or setting up UI. Just learning all the different material functions and nodes that you can use is also very applicable when you create things like particle effects. And then of course, you can check out the actual widgets themselves. So over here, this is actual menu widget with the different buttons. So we have the halftone menu. I'm just going to edit that. And we'll open up that widget blueprint. So we have things like the buttons, background image. You could probably even you know, migrate this over into your game if you wanted to use this, You know, change the styling around and all that stuff. The objective fill one is actually really neat. So let's go ahead and find that one, edit widget blueprints. We have the image, which is the material effect, the text on the top wrapped in a little overlay. So I'm assuming you take the image here, you'd bind a variable in the material to the actual percentage. And then based on whether or not, you know, the player is actually standing in the objective point, it will start claiming it. So maybe another video showing, you know, some of the application of these little widget elements, like adding it onto your own menu screen or something like that. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a video like that down in the comments down below. Also, if you guys are interested in more you know, content, Unreal Engine, they have this video two hours long going over in more depth, in more detail, all the little buttons and materials inside this project. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description below. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.